As a wise Nickelodeon intern once said, if you're looking for an answer at the end of this video, prepare to be disappointed, as there just isn't one. Even after hours of research for this video, all I've been able to find is some rumors that seem like strong possibilities, but all in all, this has been a case that's been able to remain a mystery for over 15 years, and one of the biggest icebergs is not only Hell's Kitchen history, but all reality television. What's going on guys, I'm Flint Masters, and today, we'll be talking about the bizarre case of the mysterious Hell's Kitchen contestants. In season 3, we got the usual 12 contestants, which is the same number from the first two seasons, but it turns out there was actually supposed to be a 13 chef this season. The lost 13 chef in question goes by the name JR, as you can see his jacket already hung up during Joanna's elimination. But then the big one, during Vinny's signature dish, if you pause at the right moment, you can see a man who wasn't seen at all during the season, with this most likely being JR. However, this is literally the only picture we have of JR, as there is no other proof of him being on the show. But again, since he had an actual jacket hanging, there is no doubt that a person named JR was supposed to be on this season. So now the question that fans have been trying to answer for years, why did a guy who got casted for the show and made it to the signature dish challenge seemingly vanish before the very first dinner service? Well, after doing some digging, here are some of the most popular theories. One of the main ones is that supposedly, he was a former co-worker of Joanna's and spread rumors about her past to the other chefs, which obviously not only broke the non-disclosure agreement, but is just a general big no-no for something like reality TV, and thus the producers had to pull him from the show right away. Also, apparently Joanna did a Facebook Live a couple years ago, where she did in fact confirm this to be the case, but all the evidence of that has since been deleted. I don't know, while this does make the most sense, to me, things just don't add up here. First of all, out of the thousands of applicants that Hell's Kitchen was getting at the time, they just so happened to cast two people who worked with each other in the past. Either this was a massive miss by casting, or this was in fact intentional in order to cause conflict and add another interesting storyline to the season, and it just simply got out of hand. But whether casting knew about the two's past relationship or not, the fact that JR got kicked out so quickly is what doesn't make sense to me. I'm not sure if the chefs are sequestered before the season begins, but if they're not, that means that JR started spreading rumors about Joanna literally within hours of the competition beginning. Now of course, Hell's Hell's Kitchen is known for casting some rather interesting personalities with big time attitudes, but come on, this is levels of stupidity that I can't even imagine Raj doing. Like anyone with half a brain should realize that spreading rumors about other contestants will likely get them kicked off the show, and why would anyone waste this once in a lifetime opportunity so early for basically no reason? I mean, even Joseph didn't explode on Ramsey right away, as it took him a couple stressful nights for him to break. How anyone could be stupid enough to get themselves kicked off the show not even 24 hours into filming just blows my mind. So with that said, I wonder if something else actually happened, and what those possibilities could be. Again, since there's no footage of him during dinner service, it's safe to assume he left the show sometime after the signature dish challenge. So one theory that I and many other people have is that he made a dish so bad and dangerous that it got him kicked off the show right then and there. And no, this isn't your Matt's or Antonia dishes that were so bad they made Ramsey ill. I'm talking Barrett levels of dangerous as he likely made a life threatening mistake. But again, we've seen plenty of potentially deadly mistakes over the years that has never led to an automatic elimination. And even if this did actually happen, why would the show hide this moment as Ramsey kicking off someone right away due to a bad dish would be an epic way to start the season. So maybe, just maybe, he intentionally tried to make Ramsey ill with his dish, and it was at that point the producers realized they messed up and casted a mentally unstable person on the show. Which brings me to my next theory. JR simply had a mental illness of some sort, and thus had to be taken off the show right away. But again, I just can't imagine how casting, who literally does this for a living, and know firsthand how difficult Hell's Kitchen can be on even the most mentally stable people, could possibly overlook a potential illness, to the point where JR's illness literally showed within hours upon arriving. Or again, did they know he wasn't in the best state of mind and were hoping he would provide a Joseph-esque moment, but it was just simply too graphic and too bad of a look on Cassian's part to be shown on national TV. Some people have also speculated that he was supposed to be a prop of some sort, similar to the fake chefs from season 10, and his moment just simply didn't make the TV edit. But if that was the case, why would he have his actual coat hanging? What also could have happened is that JR might have gotten injured or sick right away and was forced to leave before the first dinner service. But this also raises questions, as we've seen chefs such as Antonia and Jason get sick before the first dinner service, but they were both given confessionals along with their actual evacuation being shown, so why wouldn't they have done the same thing for JR back in season 3? I think the most obvious speculation here is that in a similar case to Jackson from Survivor 42, production must have gotten some last minute information about JR and had to wait for filming to begin before actually pulling him. But if that was the case, why did they even let him cook a signature dish instead of just pulling him instantly? And did JR disclose the information, or did casting somehow overlook something until literally days before filming? I think the most interesting and bizarre part about all of this is that despite season 3 airing over 15 years ago, we've literally got no info about the mysterious JR whatsoever. Like, how is that possible? Now, granted, we don't know his last name, so it's hard to do a Google search to find what he's up to these days, but you would think sometime in the last 15 years, we would have seen a relative, co-worker, or even just some random everyday Joe give some sort of update on JR, even if it was just a leaked photo. Again, there's not even the slightest speculation on what he's up to these days. I'd also like to give a shout out to YouTuber Blue Knight, who has done a video on this topic as well that I highly recommend checking out, as he actually went back and contacted three former Season 3 contestants. Brad said he doesn't remember who JR is, which means he has either 
they're trying to avoid the question, or it was something off screen that happened, and the blue team didn't get a chance to talk to JR, and thus have no memory of him. Rock gave no reply, and Joanna, the same person who supposedly gave a detailed Facebook Live about the situation, also gave no reply. So if Joanna's story is true, how come there hasn't been one other contestant to confirm it, and why has she also been silent about it after originally being the one to have all the details? Honestly, I think every single Season 3 contestant knows, or at least has an idea who JR is and what happened, and they're simply not willing to discuss it. So yeah, this is a very interesting case, no other way around it. A man named JR, who is no doubt supposed to be on the show, and made an actual dish, didn't even make it to the first dinner service, and over 15 freaking years later, we still don't know why this is the case, and JR himself has remained completely hidden from the universe in that time period. Honestly, when you think about all the possibilities, it really does start to get freaky. Did casting actually cast an insane person? Is JR even alive nowadays? How has he stayed undercover for 15 years? We literally might never know the answer to these questions. Simply put, this may go down as one of the biggest unsolved mysteries in reality television history. So there you have it guys, the bizarre case of the mysterious Hell's Kitchen contestant, along with my theories on what could have happened. If you guys have any other theories, or even have some info on this case, please leave it in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and like, especially if you would like more Iceberg videos like this. And until next time, have a good one guys. Get out of there.